so I think one of the things uh, that um, I wanted to get into while we still had the Spotify stuff is is Juice World pass away. RIP. Yep. Um, he, pa- he said passed away the eighth, so that was like ten uh, days ago. Yeah, uh, is a it a week already? and a half ago? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he um he was he was a honestly it's so weird. So I've we grew. Wait, are you th- are you throwing your card? Are we doing? Oh X? yeah, I can. I, I can. just want you. Oh, I sorry. want you to throw your card. We still need clips of you shittily throwing. <laughs> <laughs> it's you in the head. <laughs> Hey, see, being on um, that side doesn't help. <laughs> I know it doesn't. Uh, <laughs> um, so I wanted to get into like, so uh, yeah, expat. Uh, we we got into like the new generation of hip hop, like yep. the Lil Uzi Vert, Lil Yachty, XX. Sure. Um, Juice World is probably a little bit more World recent kinda, than them. I, well, I think Juice World kind of bumped out when X passed away. Mm-hmm. He kind of, and I'm not calling him like yeah. a piggyback yeah, or anything. Yeah. But like Ski Master Slump God took him in. Yeah. I I wouldn't say take him in because yeah. he was his own artist. Yeah. He was doing his own thing. But he kind of rode off the fame of XXX when when people were like, holy shit, Juice World, like he's making no, good music. Juice new- World had Lucid Dreams. It has one billion fucking streams on Spotify. I understand that. But Lucid Dreams but you mean like out after X passed yeah, away. Yeah. Like I that's why he's on my top five, is yeah. because X passed away and I listened the fuck out of X. Yeah. Went through, you know, the discography and kept listening to him. And then I saw Juice World and I was like, Holy shit. And yeah. then he came at, obviously he had Lucid I lo- Dreams. I loved he did a joint album with Future and it's so fucking good. Is it good? It's so you know good. what's funny? I hate Future, so I didn't give it a listen it and try, maybe you'll, I, well, you'll, you'll enjoy dead, it maybe yeah. i should maybe i should appreciate that thing uh, you'll you know? enjoy it because what um uh so juice world tweeted that yep. he's like oh no i make it once i do a joint album with future and no i think way, it was shortly huh? after future and drake did an album yep so and then all of a sudden that resurfaced once he was doing that album with future so people were like cheesing That's that like dope. like he made a even though it probably wasn't a real goal it was more like oh i'm gonna tweet about this yeah, yeah, yeah. like but maybe, it was still like a, a kind cool of thing. accomplishment that like kind of just that's pretty came into sweet. fruition but uh yeah he's he, he was one of my favorites like recently like mm-hmm. he, he no absolutely he's another one of those okay X- wait before you say something so i'm just gonna talk to you guys real quick before juice world died no actually right after sorry so i was listening to juice world i was cheesing to him he did the the song uh hate me with ellie Goulding, yeah. and then he did um the other song with the dude that sounds like kodak black and uh, why and no, 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 no. <laughs> what the fuck? Is <laughs> I don't know who you're whatever. talking about. Well, we'll skip it. <coughs> but so um, he had like two hit songs that smacked on Spotify and TikTok as yeah. well. And going back <laughs> yep, to TikTok, TikTok, baby. So Juice World passes, and the first thing JB does is literally hits me up. Goes, yeah, Juice World passed, and I was like, yeah, man, I'm fucking like depressed about it. And then he goes, can you stop liking rappers so they can <laughs> stop dying? Because literally the week before XXX died, yeah. I was like, oh my god, look at this guy. Because yeah. I'm a fucking hipster, yeah. and I, you know, you, you know, waited I, months I, I waited after months I told you after about after X. everyone loved yeah. X, and then I hopped on the fucking uh, hopped on the train, and then X passed away. Do you know why I got into X? I might have told you the story. So Kendrick Lamar tweeted uh, X's first or not first out. It was like a first themed album. I, I, I know he had albums before, like kind of mixtapes where it was a bunch of his homies just yeah. rapping and doing more like outlandish things. Yeah, when Kendrick like, was good. Yeah, uh, I got you. <laughs> so he was like, like <laughs> mo- the mosh pit music that XXX does. Yeah. So the album after, which was 13, mm-hmm. when that released, Kendrick tweeted it out. Oh wow! And I go, oh, that's weird. That Kendrick, who's like this conscious rapper, who like is like so like known to be lyrical. Yeah, and, yeah, is is tweeting out what X, who I only knew him as. Like, look oh. at me, look at me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, like, yeah. um, da, how does it go? Da, 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 da. I, I don't know the, the <laughs> look at me song, the first song he had out. Look at me, fuck with me, look at me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know. I got so, you. um, so he. So he tweeted it out, and I'm like, "Why the fuck is he tweeting out like this, like almost mosh pit music?" And then yeah. I listened to it, and it was just like a ballad. Well, of I remember songs. I know. I love how we, we're talking about Juice while we're going back to action. Yeah. But I remember you telling me about a video, and it was um like hardcore rock dudes reacting to XXX. Oh music. yeah, dude. And they were like, they were cheesing. If, if I'm gonna get into rap, this is the type yeah. of music I'm getting and into because th- it's like a hardcore rap mixture. Yeah. I mean, and I think a they lot poured of into ballads it. Yeah. And stuff like that. But they I poured mean, into it because. Travis Barker was on one of his songs. Correct. So all of a sudden they were yep. like, oh, you know. Travis I've Barker's seen, on there. If yeah. He, like, if he can get inspired by a rapper like that, yeah. like maybe I should give it a listen, which yeah. is pretty cool. But Juice World. Um, um, oh, yeah. So I got a couple notes on on Juice World is my card, by the way. Me and JB <laughs> both obviously wrote it down and then yeah. I stole it. But uh, 
So Juice World, just to put into emphasis of what happened, if there's people out there that don't know Juice World or what happened to him. Yeah. So basically what it was is that we found out Juice World had a seizure and he died at an airport. Yeah. So and then that was originally what like, happened. We that was like, all that was disclosed. Man, like, Juice yeah. World had a seizure. He said he wasn't going to live past 21 and it yeah. happened. And we we were obviously devastated. Then we find out after that Juice World and you heard about yeah, this, yeah, right? Had, yeah. yeah. So he had a, what was it? A bunch of Percocets. Yeah, Percocets. He yeah. had a bunch of Percocets, and before they were like they were double checking all the bags, which he had like fucking. Well, they were saying so that much pop- weed and so many handguns. Yeah. But with the Percocets, I'm assuming he probably didn't want to go to jail or whatever. He popped some in his mouth. Yeah. To hide them. Yeah. From airport security. Yeah. And well, then, do you know why? So the pilot didn't want to like have like all this on board, like the guns and drugs and everything. Yeah, and I yeah. think he snitched on them or something. Oh like wow! That. I think it was something along those lines where he was uncomfortable with. It was something where like someone who worked for the person, you know, like the yeah, plane or whatever, yeah, yeah. was uncomfortable with all the stuff. I mean, they were why wouldn't you be? It's fucking you know, Juice World is homies, a bunch of handguns, yeah. weeds, and, like pot and yeah. Percocets. You know yeah. what I mean? And Juice World took the Percocets. To conceal it. Yeah. To conceal it. Yeah. Ended up having a seizure or like, yeah, I would say like a drug overdose. Yeah. Pretty much it is at that point. Um, so well, all what I also have on here, and it's funny because if, oh. if my sister-in-law is watching, I mean, hopefully, probably not with her kids. Yeah. But my niece called me yesterday or the day before, called me and Joanna. We were hanging out on the couch. We we're hanging out. And she calls and goes, Juice World was found in the Bahamas. And I was like, what do you mean? And she goes, it's on the news. And, to, you know, too, I think she's 12 yeah, years yeah, old. Yeah. So to a 12-year-old, I'm like, okay, if it's on the news, maybe someone yeah. spotted him out because he had tweeted about faking his own death Yeah. at 21. Yeah. So people are, like, like mad joke. skeptical. Yeah, yeah. But it's every single artist that it happens, every single time. Obviously, I gave it a look, and the first thing is a YouTube video, like, Juice World Conspiracies, he's in the Bahamas. <laughs> And I was like, Carly Ann. <laughs> they sh- no, they he showed. He still passed away. Yeah, he's- yeah. Juice World also had a lyric about um, who's the guy? Uh, he mentions he mentions a famous person that passed away at 21 as well. Oh, I don't know. I think you're talking about Legends. The the song for Legends. He talks about the 27 Club. People. Like oh, 27. Jan- yeah, yeah, yeah. Janis Joplin yeah. died at 27. Jimi Hendrix died yep. at 27. Possibly Kurt Cobain. I yeah. think he might be involved. So and, the 27 Club. They all died at 27. Do you said, know We're the not TikTok past trend? 21. The what? TikTok trend where it's like uh, the lucid dreams. They but, two months ago, dude. It's this trend stood on TikTok. Yeah. Where they would be like, I oh, still yeah, see yeah. your shadows in yes. my room. And, and it was everyone, like seizure it would, out. It would and people out would and people, pretend to Caesar. Yes, Caesar. Caesar. And they would pretend <laughs> to make a Caesar salad. <laughs> Two months before Two months the before fucking news seizure, came out, they were joking about. Well, not joking about him having. But a it seizure, was just like a. But it was a TikTok re- trend. It was like a remix that they kind of like they mm-hmm. heard, and then it sounded like someone having a seizure, like with the beat. And they and would stuff. have the water dropping yeah. from their mouth and stuff like that. And then yeah. people would pretend to have seizures, and then like do it in front of like their grandmother to have them freak out during the TikTok. Correct. Half of it is fake acting, but like they would be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> and then. Like or like, it's crazy. It's, yeah, it's, it's like life. Life. It's is the Chinese crazier. government who runs TikTok <laughs> that knows what the fuck is going on. What What is um, it? They say uh, life is weirder than, uh, like life is 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 weirder than like you know someone that writes a book or whatever i don't know what the exact saying is but it's like if they, I, I wish this say, podcast had a zoom in <laughs> on my face so i could be like <laughs> it's like uh they say like life can be weirder than like what we could like like what movies and stories and everything okay. i don't know what the fuck it is someone commented below so yeah, i don't sound like an idiot and fucking, yeah validate me please um the last thing i have on my the my and card juice world, says juice world passing uh, is the music to come. So I had seen an interview where Juice World had said after X Pass, he had an interview and he said, I'm trying I'm gonna try to make a fuck ton of music. A ton of music. Because if something happens to me, I think he was, thought he was gonna get shot or something. Yeah. But he said, I wanna make so much music so by the time I die, people can enjoy my music for years. Mm-hmm. So I think as a last comment to Juice World R. I. P. is that it's it's gonna be like XXX where there's gonna be a couple albums, so stay tuned and ride the Juice World train. So, so Loki, enjoy- well, you gotta you gotta celebrate <coughs> his death. You yeah. know what I mean? You you gotta enjoy his music, and he's put so such a great performance on in terms of his life. You know, it's crazy because I was looking at his stats. So the first thing, because X blew up, 
Yeah. Like, I think him passing away was detrimental to how big he became afterwards. Yeah. So it's one of those, because sometimes when some people pass away, the music kind of like blows up and then simmers down. Sure. But I think X kept that momentum until, you oh, know, for absolutely. another year or whatever. Year, almost two and, years, and, I mean, you know. And Juice World, his jumped from like, 23 million to 31 million monthly listeners which i didn't oh, think wow. was insane yeah i think x is like doubled or something i think like i think xxx is gonna hold the record for yeah. post post-mortem like in terms of people just enjoying the fuck out of his yeah. music after he dies i think juice world is gonna kind of be put under the radar yeah and then people are gonna strap his music for features there's gonna be probably i'm assuming I'll say two to three albums worth of content yeah. that I'm sure he Hopefully. has. Be- yeah. If he was that paranoid about yeah. passing away and not being able to have people enjoy his music, it's got to be somewhere around there. 